When you think of Argentina, with a population even now just a fifth the size of Brazil's, their eternal rivals, if you will, it's extraordinary how many of the world's great footballers Argentina have produced. Down the years, they have amazed and occasionally enraged watching football fans. This is our look at amazing Argentina. Maradona tries the shot, what a lovely goal! Oh yes! Oh! Canadian could score! Four years before they hosted the World Cup, Argentina were in West Germany, as it was then, for the 1974 tournament. Defeats to Holland and Brazil meant an early exit at the second group stage, but Argentina went home having given their fans some great World Cup goals to remember. Despite losing the game, defender Ramon Heredia popped up with a rare peach of a goal for Argentina in their opening match against Poland. Heredia coming in, and shoot. He's got a good goal, he's pulled one back, Heredia! René Hausmann was the man on target in the one-all draw with Italy. Good running here by Hausmann! Oh, what a beautiful goal! That was a spectacular goal! It was Hausmann again scoring one of the goals in their 4-1 win over Haiti. Chip over the top for Yazalde. He's not offside. And an easy one for Hausmann. Miguel Angel Brindisi's free kick was the highlight of their 2-1 defeat to Brazil. But there's the kick. Oh, what a beauty! And that's the top goal in the competition, conceded by Emerson Leal. And despite already being out of the World Cup, Hausmann capped a fine tournament with the equaliser in a one-all draw against East Germany. What a goal! Hausmann! Here's Kempes, there's the cross, and watch Hausmann hit it. In 1978, Argentina were the hosts for the 11th FIFA World Cup, and home advantage made them one of the teams to beat. Which are the three or four teams that you think, watch out for them because they could win it? Argentina, because they're playing their home games. And I know in their home games, the Blue League, they are crazy. They will help them a lot. Will that put pressure on them, though, at the same time, do you think? I don't think so. They're used to this pressure. Is it the most difficult country to go to in the world to play as an away side in yes. Argentina? Yes, I think so. Well, the World Cup starts in Argentina tomorrow. Three and a half weeks that have been eagerly looked forward to by millions of us. Three and a half weeks when the world's greatest footballers will parade their skills in the world's most demanding arenas. Hungary gave Argentina a scare in their opening fixture before the home team finally ignited their World Cup adventure. Holguin also there. And Guido only gets it to the second attempt and it's put in. The bustling going on there. Alonso gets it through, the goalkeeper's out and left, and into the net it goes from Bertoni. Passarella, who scored the penalty that gave Argentina a draw against Scotland last year, against Bertrand de Mam. 1-0! Chipping Bagaki score. Lacombe chip over the keeper. Off the bar. Lacombe again. And into the net. And the referee has given it by Platini. Martinez. And what a magnificent goal! Look at You don't see him better than this. Look at the little flick up. The turn, the bounce, the volley, and good night from. Argentina! 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 The 
The win against France started the celebrations in Buenos Aires, and the fans were starting to believe. But they were going to have to do it the hard way. A 1-0 defeat at the hands of Italy meant Argentina were handed a tougher second round group. To make the final, they would have to top a section that included Poland, Peru and the mighty Brazil. Looking for Kempes coming in, and he makes it! Gardile. Oh, and now it's opening up for Kempes, yes, two! And Ardiles returned to who made it. After the Kempes double against Poland and a goalless draw against Brazil, Argentina and the Brazilians were level on points in the group. So, the hosts delayed their game, and after Brazil had beaten Poland by three goals to one, Argentina knew they needed to beat Peru by four clear goals to reach the final. For Kempes. Kempes again, and beautifully taken, and that really sets the stadium alight. Tarantini! Holguin. Kempes. Kempes! And it's three! For La Rosa. And it was Passarella and put in by Luque! Ortiz. Being allowed to run. Hausmann! Given away to La Rosa for Luque. Oh, what finishing! The second for Luque, the sixth for Argentina. And there is the final whistle, and the stadium erupts, and the delighted scenes. The players who knew what they had to do before the game and went out and did it in style. They needed four, they finished with six. The opposition in the final was a strong Dutch side looking to stop the Argentinian ticker tape party. There's the ticker tape. This is unbelievable. And a shot for Johnny Riff, and a super save from Filio. Ardiles. Skipping away from the tackles. Oh, this for Kempes. Got a move. Yes. One of it. Now oh, they're going to look for the big one. No, it comes to Arty Hahn and Argentina come out. And Renny van der Kerkhoff might be in. That looks useful. Maninka. It is. With the scores level, the World Cup final entered extra time. and Bertoni and the ball in for Kempes got a score John Ford has done it and it's trickled into the net and anybody can get the credit for that but Kempes is going to claim it it's 2-1 Argentina Bertoni Kempes he's got the acceleration he's got the shot Bertoni yes it's 3-1 and that's the World Cup The star of the 1978 World Cup was undoubtedly the extravagantly hairstyled Mario Kempes, whose six goals in the tournament saw him crowned leading scorer, and of course he took home a World Cup winner's medal. Kempes coming in, and he makes it! Who do you think is the most exciting player you've seen in the World Cup so far? Kempes gets two! The guy I would have to pick out is uh, Kempes. When you've got a left foot like this guy's got, then you don't need a right one only for standing on. Kempes! Kempes! And it's three! I think he's a highly talented, sk uh, skilled young man. And he's, he looks as though he wants to play the game for two matches every time he plays, yes. not just one. Oh, this for Kempes! 
And the ball in for Kempers. Got a score! Young Ford has done it! And it's tripled into the net! It's almost a perfect team. They have a perfect defense. Very, very strong. Very hard. This is number two. Oh, brilliant. Will football needs its heroes. And there's referee for Argentina. A 1-0 defeat to Belgium wasn't the best of starts for Argentina at the 1982 World Cup in Spain. But as reigning champions, they really didn't want to fall at the first hurdle. Hungary and El Salvador stood in the way of qualification for the next round. The header from Passarella, and that's the goal. Bertoni scores the goal that Argentina so desperately needed. Valent. Now Arziles. Argentina really looking menacing now as Bertoni is through again. Must have a chance. This is a great chance for Maradona. And that is two for Argentina. So now it's Kempes. Kempes again. Finding Maradona. It's a good break by Argentina. Maradona tries the shot. What a lovely goal. Maradona makes it number two. They're still totally dominating this match. Ardiles finding Olguin. A cracking shot from Olguin. Saved by keeper and bar. And Ardiles. Ardiles makes it number four. Calderon. Olguin again. Good ball on for Calderon. And that's the penalty. It's Passarella against Mora. And that's a goal. And here's Olguin. Bertoni for Argentina. He'll try the shot. And what a goal from Daniel Bertoni. Marvellous work by Bertoni. Pass one man, pass two, pass the same man again. In comes the shot, far post. The second group phase proved to be the end of the road for Argentina. After having already been defeated by Italy, Brazil scored three past the Albi Celeste to seal their World Cup fate before things went from bad to worse for Argentina's star man. Kick on the head there, and following that, Maradona managed to put a little kick in on Batista, and he's off. That is the end of Diego Maradona's World Cup. And what a tragic end to Maradona's World Cup. He's about to come back to play in Barcelona, and this must be the most tragic moment of his career so far. The crowd are letting him know their feelings. After the sending off, Ramon Diaz put a small smile back on the face of the Argentine fans with his consolation goal. But the real smile for his team and Maradona would return four years later. After the terrible disappointment of that Spain World Cup in 1982, Argentina were very keen to get off to a good start at the 86 tournament in Mexico. And a 3-1 victory over South Korea in their opening fixture was just what coach Carlos Bilardo had been looking for. Batista. They are having plenty of the ball in midfield, Jerry, but quite frankly, they're not really creating an awful lot. Um, the best moments have come when from set situations. Is Maradona. This fella's in the box. Oh, he's done it! And after Maradona's goal had secured a draw with Italy, a 2 0 win over Bulgaria in their last group game was enough to set up a last 16 tie with Uruguay. Batista. Buruchaga, the angle widened with his first touch, he looked for Baldano, and a certain goal for Pascoli! A messy goal if you like, but a vital one for Argentina. Next up in the quarter-finals was Bobby Robson's England, and a chance for Maradona to steal the show once more. And Maradona picks a way through where there seemed to be none. Shelton is so incensed. 
but he's come all the way to argue with the referee and Maradona handled it in. But we haven't been able to control the play in midfield the way that Maradona has been able to do. And he's hurting England again here. It's a brilliant run. It's one of the World Cup great goals. And there's no doubt about that one. He left a trail of England players in his wake. Despite a late Gary Lineker goal, it was Argentina who progressed to a semi-final against Belgium. Oshaga. Maradona lurking just around the edge of the area and he's got into it and he's scored! And once again, Diego Maradona has showed what a magnificent player he is. And here's Maradona now. Is this number two? Oh, brilliant. Tremendous goal. Weaving past defenders, such strength and persistence. And what a cool finish too. Argentina and their inspirational captain Diego Maradona had made it all the way to the 86 final. In their way now stood Franz Beckenbauer's West German side. It's almost a perfect team. They have a perfect defense, very, very strong, very hard. You know, and a very good and a very, very uh, good moving and uh, midfield, very good technique. Well, the moment we've been waiting for this past month has finally arrived. Tonight in the Azteca Stadium, West Germany and Argentina, Europe against South America, meet for the right to be called champions of the world. Well, with kickoff time approaching, surely this is the last of the 114,000 spectators who will be basking in the sunshine in this spectacular and marvellous Azteca Stadium, the first stadium ever to stage two World Cup finals. Batista's come up from the back. The last chair is there. Valdana, the big man's in there too. Floating to the far side. Maradona, Maradona, simple little touch, but a good one to Enrique, and now Maldana, and this could be the break again for Argentina, and he's scored, 2-0! So Bremer with the corner, for West Germany, and forced in by Rubenigger! Well, maybe it's not over yet. Corner coming in. And it's there! Vola! 2-2! Well, what were we saying a moment ago? Now, Maradona. A touch by him, but a chuck is outside. Played outside by Briegel. And there's the reprieve for Argentina. But a charger makes it 3 2. And there are Germans flat on the ground in utter and total despair. And the Argentinians looking now at the referee and saying, Come on, the ref, the time is up. But he's playing on a sensible amount of injury time because there has been some to Jose Luis Brown. But now it's over. And Argentina are the new world champions. Three goals to two. But something that is a very usual situation for this fellow, a triumph for Diego Maradona and for Argentina. For obvious reasons, when football fans all around the world think back to the 1986 World Cup, they think of one man, Maradona. Well, football needs its heroes, and I don't think there's any bigger or smaller, really, than Diego Maradona. Any doubt, he's, he's the best player in the world. There's something magic about him every time that he touches the ball. Here's Maradona now. Is this number two? Oh, brilliant. 
what has been a golden day for Argentine football. A triumph for Diego Maradona. Yes! Argentina are in front! To make it 3-1, it's And he's saved it! Maradona! Oh! Oh, it's a terrific finish! In the opening game of the 1990 World Cup, Argentina was shocked by Cameroon. It's in there! They've scored! Despite having two men sent off, Cameroon still went on to win. But Argentina managed to pick themselves up for their next games in the tournament. Marti Cachea showing good skill himself. And that's a dangerous looking ball. Tronio! Yes! Argentina are in front! Tronio. The referee says play on and play on, they have and play on, they have done to great effect because Puranchaga has scored the goal that Argentina wanted. Argentina's corner. What a movement in and around the penalty area. And there's the header and the goal for Argentina. Good little back flick from Argies. Very talented, and Lacatus here can play a good cross in, and the keeper's in real trouble. And it's there, Romania have got their equaliser. Ballant is the man. And he tells everybody about it. Maradona for Argentina. Good run by Maradona. And still he goes on. And Kanija! And Kanija could score here! Argentina! One! Brazil nil! Against all the odds, Tafarel is beaten. And the double act of Maradona and Kanija could have given the world champions a place in the quarter-final. After a 1-0 win over deadly rivals Brazil in the last 16 of the World Cup, Argentina's quarter-final tie with Yugoslavia ended goalless. So, both sides' World Cup fate now rested in the hands of a tense penalty shootout. The first free kick is being taken by Serizuela of Argentina who scores. Stojkovic against Goikochia to make it 1-1. So Burchaga, the man whose goal won the World Cup four years ago, steps forward to try and make it 2-0. And he does so, and to be fair, on that goalkeeper moved as well, rather early did Ivkovic, and Burchaga knows he's got his team in the driving seat now. Prozineki for Yugoslavia, and he steps up and he makes it 2-1. The captain of Argentina, Diego Maradona, is next on the hotspot. Maradona to make it 3-1, and he's failed. And he looks to the skies. Maradona, well, I did say earlier he might miss. Savicevic scores, and it's 2-2. And two each to go. Pedro Trollio, and he's missed as well, and all of a sudden it's turning sour for the world champions. This to make it 3-2. Ooh, dearie me, that was the most nervous penalty I think I've ever seen. And it is still 2-2, and Argentina are alive again. The man entrusted with the last of the five penalties for Argentina is De Zotti. Can he score? Yes, he can. And Argentina go 3-2 in front. And the responsibility falls on Farouk Hadzibajic to take it into sudden death. And it's simple enough now. If he scores, we go to sudden death. If he misses, Argentina will go through. Hadzibajic. And he saved it. And Goikachia 
takes Argentina into the semi-finals. What an extraordinary turn of events. And Argentina's luck holds good. And the young goalkeeper Sergio Goicochea, who came here as the reserve to Neri Pompidou, is the saviour of his country. The hosts, Italy, provided the challenge in the semi-final and went ahead. Now Viali, back towards Giannini. Good play by him. Viali! Schiracci has done it yet again for Italy! But again, Argentina showed their resolve. Martica chair on the left. Clipped in towards Canigia. Canigia has equalised! And for the second game in a row, they headed for a nerve-wracking penalty shootout. With the scores poised at three each, the final place was still up for grabs. It's 3-3 from the spot. Playing for a World Cup final place, Donadoni. are an important point ahead. Donadoni's misery could be compounded now because Maradona, who missed from the spot a few days ago, has the penalty that could nudge Argentina ahead. And he scored! Argentina are in front by four penalties to three. The biggest pressure penalty of all now Aldo Serena, if he misses here, Italy will not go through to the World Cup final. They're 4-3 down on penalties. He has to score this. Ah, yes. He's missed it. Argentina, the world champions, are through to the World Cup final again. Unbelievable scenes of joy. And the team which began Italian losing to Cameroon, have defeated the host nation and all of Italy will be in mourning. Argentina have somehow incredibly won a place in the World Cup final. Like four years earlier, it was the West Germans who provided the opposition in the final. But unlike 1986, the Argentines were on the losing side as an 85th minute penalty was enough to see the Germans take World Cup revenge. Having succeeded in making it all the way to the two previous finals, Argentina, with Maradona once again, were keen to get out of the blocks quickly at USA 94. Nice stop. Nice the referee allowing the advantage taken up here by Batistuta. An early chance for the Argentines and a goal! Batistuta! Now Sibione, four ahead of him. Redondo, here's Maradona. In the last minute of the first half, it's Batistuta! Oh, what a goal! Redondo, now Maradona! Maradona scores! And here's Mark has returned to international football. A breakaway for the Argentines. Now Sibione joining in. He's got Kanija up with him. Appeals for handball and a penalty. Penalty to Argentina. In the dying seconds of the game. Batistuta against Minu. Can he secure his hat-trick? The first of the World Cup Finals. He can! And most emphatically. Three for Batistuta, four for Argentina. Nigeria, it's onside, here's a chance, the goalkeeper in no man's land! And it's a goal to Nigeria! Maradona on the ball. Matthew Stuta in there as well. Four options. Maradona leaves it. Shot comes in. Good save by the goalkeeper. Has spilled it. And Argentina equalise. The Argentinian goal scorer. 
all fired up. And he's got a chance to score a second. Weighs up the opportunity. And sticks it in the back of the net. Despite early promise, 1994 would end in disappointment. The two wins were followed by defeats to Bulgaria and then Romania in the last 16. And partway through the competition, a failed drugs test by Maradona meant he was expelled from the tournament, bringing the curtain down on his international playing career. At the 1998 World Cup in France, Argentina showed spectacular form in the group stage, dispatching Japan, Jamaica and Croatia in style. Ortega. Then from Simeone's pass, it's Danis Duta! You can't keep it quiet for too long. Simeone, Veron. The true Ortega with a chance, 1 0. Terrific goal for Argentina by the man in the famous number 10 shirt. It's Ariel Ortega. Claudio Lopez. Ortega has got in again here and he's produced another superb finish. Ariel Ortega coolly clipping the ball over the Jamaican goalkeeper for the second time in the match and announcing himself on the world stage. Badistuta. Oh, it's a terrific finish. Gabriel Batistuta makes it 3-0 for Argentina. It's Batistuta again. It's two for him. It's four for Argentina. And they are running amok now. First hat-trick of the World Cup Finals beckons Gabriel Batistuta. Don't even have a move. Batistuta has scored three times in ten minutes. And Ortega has it, and Pineda's onside, it's Pineda, it's 1-0 Argentina! And it's a thunderous finish from an unexpected source. The last 16 clash with England provided drama of the highest order. Two first-half penalties for either side. Terrific strike! A wonder goal by a teenage Michael Owen. Beckham now to Owen, and here's another Owen run. He's going to worry them again. It's a great run by Michael Owen, and he might finish it off. Oh, it's a wonderful goal! An Argentine set piece straight off the training ground. Aristuta. No, it's not. It's Veron who's played it. But Zanetti, it's a great goal. It's 2-2. Two -two. A red card. And it's a red card for David Beckham. Oh, no. And a dramatic penalty shootout that was poised at 3 all, with one penalty apiece still to take. Now, it's down to David Seaman now. Can Seaman make the save of his life here? What a night of football this is. Ayala's kick. Oh, slotted it in superbly. What it means is that David Batty is coming forward for England. 34 caps, he's not scored. Do you now you know him better than anybody probably? Do you back him to score quickly, yes or no? Yes. Oh, oh he has it. No. Argentina go through and England go out. Holland were next up, and with the scores poised at one all, a sumptuous finish by Dennis Bergkamp broke South American heart and Argentina said au revoir to France 98 at the quarter-final stage. <laughs> 56 goals in his international career makes Gabriel Batistuta Argentina's all-time leading scorer. And he was the first man to score a hat-trick in two separate World Cups. An early chance for the Argentines and a goal! It's Batistuta! Can he secure his hat-trick? The first of the World Cup Finals. He can! And most emphatically. Badistuta. Oh, it's a terrific finish. It's Badistuta again. It's two for him. It's four for Argentina. First hat-trick of the World Cup Finals beckons Gabriel Badistuta. Don't even have a move. Oh, yes! Fabulous!
a strike by Maxi. Higuain, hat-trick to this. What a fabulous strike. try again and it's in this time deadlock broken and would you believe it it's that man Batistuta the ratio continues a goal a game in World Cup matches despite an opening group stage win against Nigeria the 2002 World Cup in Japan and South Korea was one to forget for Argentina. A David Beckham penalty saw England triumph 1-0 in their second group stage match. Captain's example, David Beckham, England lead Argentina. And despite a late Hernan Crespo equaliser, a draw in their must-win game against Sweden put pay to their World Cup hopes at the group stage, finishing a disappointing campaign. <laughs> After their below par showing four years earlier, Argentina were quick and keen to make amends at the 2006 World Cup in Germany. On this ball. And it's stuck in! And Argentina have the lead! And you know who? Alan Crespo has scored! Riquelme. And Riquelme again, and Saviola! Just beautiful, beautiful. A pure gliding goal. With both teams already qualified for the last 16, Argentina and Holland played out a goalless draw in their final group game, which left the South Americans top of the group and facing Mexico in the knockout stages. This is Pardo. He has Borghetti to wait for. Fonseca and Salcedo is up from the back. Plenty of movement in there too. And it comes Marquez to score! Crespo trying to find some space in there. It's Borghetti who's come back to market. Whipped over by Raquel May and in from Crespo. The lead lasted less than five minutes. The score remained one all all the way into extra time. Here is the Barcelona youngster again. After Shorin. Oh yes! A fabulous strike by Maxi and Argentina have gone in front next up the hosts Germany in the quarter-finals Sorin again is going towards the near post Crespo penalty spot and that's a terrific header and Argentina have the lead through Roberto Ayala. Alex ball in, hold by Borowski, and in! From Miroslav closer. With the scores won all after extra time, it was to be penalties again. But this time the outcome would not go Argentina's way, as both Roberto Ayala and then Esteban Cambiaso had their penalties saved by Jens Lehmann, and Germany booked their place in the semi-finals. <laughs> 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 
After his unexpected return to the Argentine fold as coach in 2008, the one and only Maradona led his nation to the 2010 World Cup finals. And for a time, his appointment seemed inspired. It's Veron's corner, and it's a terrific header! Eitze scores early on! And it hasn't taken long for Argentina to announce their arrival at this World Cup! In by Messi, own oh, goal! Sparkling, but Argentina have a lead, given them by a centre forward, if not their own. Makes it short for Messi. In by Maxi, and 2 0. Higuain, unmissably from close range. Ulti. What a catastrophe! What a catastrophe for all bar Lee Chung Yong. Aguero. Messi. Oh, it's a good save. Messi again! And there you go! Higuain. 3-1. Higuain. Messi. Aguero. Higuain, hat-trick! To crown a special day in the Joburg sunshine. Argentina, smooth as you like again. Argentina pursuing that goal. And Demi Chalis has got it in the second attempt. A long time coming that. Di Maria. Pastore now. Messi calling for it. He's got it. Lionel Messi. Is this the moment? Not yet. But it's a goal anyway. And it's Martin Palermo. The 36-year-old who seals a victory for Argentina. Messi, who's rolled it in for Tevez. Messi's follow-up, Tevez touch, Argentina's lead. Oh, terrible mistake by Osorio. 2-0 Argentina, Higuain with a gimme. Let's see, Tevez, and again Tevez, what a fabulous strike. Perhaps the best of a wonderful bunch at World Cup 2010. Phenomenal force from the right boot of Carlos Tevez. With Maradona, you are always guaranteed one extreme or the other. And after a sensational campaign, the wheels finally came off in style as Argentina crashed out of the competition 4-0 to Germany in the quarter-finals. Close to seals it. Four against England. Even more impressive, four against Argentina. Maradona's tenure of the national side came to an end soon after. Argentina has undoubtedly produced some of the great strikers down the years. Kempes, Maradona, Batistuta all spring to mind. And of course there's a little fella plying his trade at Barcelona at the moment you just might have heard of. The world's greatest footballer. He is a phenomenon. Sacarle la pelota a Messi. Es como sacarme a mí esta manzana, tengo un hambre barro. Eh, eh, no sería lindo el fútbol sin, sin ver a Messi que toque la pelota. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How good is he? The personal brilliance of Lionel Messi. Messi! Amazing, extraordinary. 
controversial, even occasionally cantankerous. Argentina have been many things to football fans down the years, but rarely, if ever, boring. <laughs>